in software development process the bug has a life cycle the bug should go through the life cycle to be closed a specific life cycle ensures that the process is standardized the bug attains different states in the life cycle the different states of a bug can be summarized as new open assigned test verified deferred reopened rejected and closed when the bug is posted for the first time its state will be new this means that the bug is not at approved after a tester has posted a bug the lead of the tester approves that the bug is genuine and he changes the state as open once the lead changes the state as open he assigns the bug to the corresponding developer team the state of the bug now is changed to assign once the developer fixes the bug he has to assign the bug to the testing team for next round of testing before he releases the software with the bug fixed he changes the state of bug to test it specifies that the bug has been fixed and is released to testing team the bug change to deferred state means the bug is expected to be fixed in next releases the reasons for changing the bug to this state have many factors some of them are priority of the bug may be low lack of time for the releases or the bug may not have major effect on the software if the developer feels that the bug is not genuine he rejects the bug then the state of the bug is changed to rejected once the bug is fixed and the status is changed to test the tester tests the bug if the bug is not present in the software he approves that the bug is fixed and changes the state to verified if the bug still exists even after the bug is fixed by the developer the tester changes the status to reopened the bug traverses the life cycle once again once the bug is fixed it is tested by the tester if the tester feels that the bug no longer exists in the software he changes the status of the bug to closed this state means that the bug is fixed tested and approved